Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a good day today. Good day for me. <laughs> um, let's get into it. Uh, I wanted to do a you know a little list video, I guess, or a little I thought would be a fun topic. Uh, old money sense. I, I mentioned it in the Yogi Savage video. It reminds me of old money. Kind of got my uh my brain gears kind of turning and. Uh, I thought it'd be a fun little video to do, you know, 10 fragrances that, you know, have a bit of an old money vibe to them. Now, what is old money? Most of you know, it's just money, wealth that's handed down generation to generation uh, through families. Uh, it uh, makes you think of aristocrats, uh, things like maybe even some snobbery, some, some blue bloods, some uh, arrogant people but i mean in the most part it's just what it is it's all money but in terms of these fragrances i thought it was more something that now none of these are from these times but you know you can see a, a gentleman you know an english gentleman more likely than non italian gentleman stuff like that from the late 1700s early or 1700s 1800s to the early 1900s um mid 1900s kind of wearing stuff like this um now, that's not saying these are all, you know, from that time. Like I said, none of them are, of course. Uh, a lot of them are quite modern, actually. But, like I said, you could see a, a gentleman getting up, going to his chamber. He has his cleaning dish with his shaving stuff there. And they would be more of an aftershave at this that time. But, you know, he'd do his shave and put on his aftershave and... It could be any one of these if they had them back then. They didn't, but if they did, I could see uh, a gentleman wearing them, an old money kind of guy wearing them. And uh, now these are going to be mostly masculine fragrances, pretty much all of them, but uh, girls, you can wear what you want. Like I said, you can, it's completely up to you. There's some old fashioned ones, there's some. You know, what people consider old fragrances, there's newer stuff. There's uh, cheap ones, expensive ones. Uh, most of them are pretty easy to find, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, let's just get right into it now that I've took all that time to say pretty much nothing. <laughs> the first one, like I said, is the one that kind of started it off. And that was Osavash. Now, this isn't going to be reviews or anything. This is going to be me talking about it. Uh the bottle even reminds me of uh, an old school. Like, a, it wouldn't be at a place in a, you know, a, a London home in 1890. You know what I mean? Sitting on the counter next to the the shaving stuff. Just the bottle would look itself. So, uh, green, woody, citrus, clean, powdery florals, barbershop-esque. Uh like I said, a very nice fragrance, very classy, very gentlemanly, very old money-ish. Next is going to be uh, Aramis and Divine Country. I didn't like this when I first got it years ago, but as my nose has evolved and <clears throat> more newer stuff has just become less my jam, uh, stuff like this I've really grown to appreciate. Again, green, slightly spicy, a nice leather and wood combo in this uh, with even an animalic musk <laughs> and a dry scent. Yeah, very nice scent. Very nice scent. Uh, get it while you can, though, because I, I've heard, uh, I know the other one I have, uh, Tuscany, is, is relatively expensive now because it has been discontinued or maybe not officially, but you can't find it anywhere as far as I know. Uh this stuff you can pick up right now for like $30 at uh, Frag Buy and a couple other retailers online. So pick it up while you can because I wouldn't be surprised if it goes bye-bye. Um, Bentley for Men Intense. Boozy, smoky, leather, woody, slightly sweet, spicy, and warm. I mean, what more can I say about it? Easily would fit that vibe of a some dude in the 1800s wearing it easily, but still modern. 
So, ah, uh, one I don't think I've talked about a lot. If I have, I haven't done a review yet. I'm going to, but I got to get another bottle. As you can see, this one's running low, and this is an older bottle. Uh, not that old, from the mid 2000s, you know, 2005 ish or so. Uh, Lagerfield Classic. Even broke. You see, there's a little nose. I broke that. God, this stuff is good. Again, warm, sweet, powdery Tonka vanilla tobacco with a nice, mossy, musky dry down. Uh, definitely, it's a bit of that barbershop vibe to it, but more, like I said, with the tobacco and the warm sweetness. Uh, very nice scent. Very old school again, uh, but very nice. One that doesn't get talked about a lot, but most people who do talk about it love it for a reason said before i'll say it again if it works on you it works really well on you <sighs> about the only one that i could really say would be unisex on this list is uh going to be canoe by dana uh, of course actually that would be because it started out as a woman's fragrance if i'm not mistaken so yeah uh it's the oldest one in here i think 1930 something could be wrong in that but i'm pretty sure yeah, soft, elegant, slight vanilla sweetness with a citrusy, uh, florals, uh, lavender, probably some iris, uh, gorgeous, very powdery scent, very powdery, very light scent, very powdery scent, uh, performance ain't, isn't the worst, but I mean, it, it sits pretty close to the skin is what I'm saying, uh, longevity is okay, but very light, uh, almost like, uh, uh, baby powder is like us. You took baby powder and some a little bit of vanilla and you know lemon and put it on. I mean, very nice though. Very nice. Very nice scent. Uh, very wearable today, actually, especially in the summer coming up. Uh, more for the Italian gentleman. Uh, old money Italian guy. Uh, Aqua Ascensia Colonia by Salvatore Ferragamo. Uh, again, people who doesn't get talked about a lot, but people who talk about it just say how great it is, and it really is. Uh, fresh, floral, citrus kind of fragrance. Classic Italian cologne. Uh, light, woody, kind of dry down. Uh, yeah. Bit of sweetness off the top. I've said it before. For whatever reason, it reminds me of almost a effervescent sweet grape, just for a couple minutes, and then it the citrus is really just. I mean, yeah. Oh, stuff is so good, so so good. Bit of a soapy vibe, but not in the barbershop way. More of just a clean kind of vibe. Oh, so good, so good. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Can't talk about classic. Old money English gentleman without talking about English leather now, can we? Uh, citrus, floral, powdery iris, and a fresh lavender. And leather, of course. Uh, some nice woods. Uh, yeah. Uh, not as much leather as you would think. There's a leather base, and it's a masculine leather. It's not your modern uh, type leathers. You know, uh, it's definitely a throwback to that leather feel, but it's not as leathery as you would think. It's more citrusy and powdery than leathery, citrusy and floral. Just that leather is still there and prominent, but it's not just a leather scent, right? So oh, it's very good, too. Um, of course, English Laundry Windsor, sweet cherry pipe tobacco, a very light oud wood, and... Uh, some more dark woods in the base and a, and a nice musk dry down. Uh, smells just like Grampy's pipe. Honestly, sitting on his old rocking chair made of oak, smoking his pipe. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, another one I pick up soon because I just, I just, I feel in a few years this is going to be either discontinued or hard to get. Um, another one that's relatively well newish, I guess, or at least more modern is uh girl on with all my deal uh definitely has an old money vibe to it you know 
slightly earthy and nutty and Swedish kind of almond. Sweet-ish, not Swedish. Sweet-ish. With a soft leather and vetiver and cedar and the dry down. Oh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Just, yeah, get it. And the last one, believe it or not, is one that I've come to really like. I've worn it. When I first got it, I didn't like it. And as I've worn it a couple times, I've just fallen in love with it, quite honestly. I'm going to re-review it because I wasn't fair when I got it a little while ago. Because uh, of my my disdain for vetiver, which came from La Leak. Uh, I really, every time I smelled something with vetiver, all I could smell was La Leak. But as I've gotten over that, my nose has evolved over the last little bit. Um, and this isn't even that old, only a few months ago. <laughs> I've really started to appreciate vetiver. <clears throat> Still not the leak. It's still too dank and dirty and perfumey for me. But this is what I wished the leak had a smell like. Uh, D Square Green Woods. Uh, fresh, citrus, green, woody vetifer. <clears throat> yeah, just very nice. A green, woody vetifer scent. I mean, I could see an old English gentleman, Italian gentleman, whatever. French gentleman, whatever you want, just an old, old timey, old money gentleman up to today wearing this. Wouldn't be out of place in anybody's cabinet from 1600s to today, honestly. It's, it is very good. Uh, yeah. So that's it, guys. It was just a fun little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you think about, uh, some sense that you would call classify as. Not classified, but say could be old money scents. There's a lot. I could have included a ton of fougeres and old aftershaves and bay rum and and animal and and yeah, there's so many I could have included. But I thought these ten kind of <clears throat> fit the bill pretty good. You get a little bit of everything for everyone: some fresh scents, some summer scents, some spring scents, fall, winter, day, evening. You get a little bit of everything. So I thought, yeah, why not? Let's let's do these ten. All right, guys, so yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what you think, again, what that would be, you know, a couple of your old money gentlemanly colognes. All right, guys, peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourself.